Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark Stanfield. I'm coming at you from TransWest Truck Trader RV from Frederick, Colorado. And this is post Thanksgiving, so hopefully everybody had a good Thanksgiving. Um, today I wanted to go over this 2017 Ford F-350 Super Duty four-wheel drive crew cab. The stock number on this unit is 5U201163. This thing has under 12,000 miles on it, and I'll give you the exact miles when we go uh, in the front. So we'll start up front. This thing has the 6.7 liter super or, uh, power stroke diesel. This engine will produce 440 horsepower. It'll give you 925 foot-pounds of torque. Now these diesels, uh, this 6.7 was introduced to the Ford lineup mid-year of 2011. Before that, they had the 6.0 and the 6.4. Well, they were having problems with it, and it was uh, designed outside of Ford. So Ford said, heck with that. We're gonna pull everything inside, and the Ford engineers went to work, and this is the engine that they designed. So it, it's a very good uh, diesel. It's done a great, great job for them since they've introduced it. As you notice, the, the dipsticks in yellow are, uh, it, that's what you guys can can look at and uh, keep track of so you got your oil and your transmission. This one is set up with dual batteries of course because it's diesel and this one has a towing package on it so you're going to get a higher uh, uh, bigger alternator for it for all the voltage that you need. Also because it has the tow package on it uh, inside here is a uh, it's a little uh, it's for the transmission filter so it's got a oil cooler on it so when you're towing, you're not, you're not going to have to worry about your uh, transmission fluid getting real hot and burning on you. It's going to run through that and keep it cooler. Um, this one has the Lariat package, so you're going to have chrome uh, bumpers. You're going to have tow hooks on the front. This one also has a uh, oil cooler, on, or not a cooler, but a, a heater on it. So if you live in the cold climates, you can plug that in and you're going to have uh, clean starts, good starts in the, in the mornings it gets real cold. You also have lighting under the hood when you have your lights on so it uh, lights up so you can see in there. Now whenever we get one of these in it doesn't matter how many miles are on it, how new it is, we run it through the shop so this already has uh, brand new oil in it. We put new filter, new cabin filter, new wiper blades. Of course everything else was good on it because of the miles. We do a safety check as well so brakes and everything are good it's ready to go. Let me shut this. You see it also has uh, fog lights up front. Uh, this one comes with a 34 gallon fuel tank and also the def tank is a little bit bigger on this, it's 7.4 gallons. And I did some looking online and you can get right around 600 miles per gallon of the def tank. So, uh, and then with the miles per gallon on the diesel, you're gonna be averaging around 17 to 20. And then of course, if you tow, it's gonna go down and you'll lose, use more depth as well. So it just depends on what you're using it for. As you can see on this one, you have full running board, so it goes all the way back. You can use it to step up to get into the bed, which is pretty nice. And on all the Super Duties, they use uh, locking hubs, which is another cool feature about this. If you look down here, Jody, you can see that it has a, a lock and also an auto which is pretty cool on these heavy duties. So if you put it in auto, you don't have to worry about getting out. You can just uh, put it in four wheel drive at normal highway speeds. But if you're gonna be in an area where it's really muddy and you know that you're gonna use it, lock those hubs. You can drive with it in locked, but you have more friction so your gas mileage will go down a little bit. The best way to do it is to drive it in auto. Then you don't have to worry about it. But if you know you're gonna be in an area that's bad, lock them up and you don't have to worry about it. Coming back here, like I said, we have a 34 gallon fuel tank there. This one also has the FX4 package. Uh, what that gives you is skid plates on every major component underneath it. Gives you heavy duty springs and heavy duty Rancho shocks. So this one is actually ready to tow. Going in the back, you also have a class five hitch on the back and there's different sleeves that's in the truck. So you can haul different size uh, trailers with it. You have a seven pin and a four pin uh, hookup right there. So with a conventional haul you can you can tow about 19,000 pounds on this. This one also has the fifth wheel 
uh, hook up here. Also, this is this one's done with the gooseneck, but you can hook like a Kurt. Uh, B and W has like a companion hitch that fits right in that thing. So if you wanted to haul a, a fifth wheel, you can you can buy those, and they're not not that expensive. Um, this one also has uh, LED lights in the bed. So there's a switch right over here. You can turn it on so you have two lights at the corner here. And then there's where your trailer hookup is there for, for trailer lights. This one also comes with the uh, spray and bed lighting right from Ford. As you can see, they've, they've done a really good job with that. So that'll save. What I like them for is when you have something in the bed, it's not gonna slide around like it do if you had one of those plastic liners. These work real well. Let's see, um, the turbocharger that, that Ford uses on these supercharge or uh, super power strokes, excuse me, are uh, made by Garrett. Garrett's been around a long time. In the 1930s, they started out putting uh, turbos on uh, aircraft. And then by the late 50s, early 60s, that's when they had their first turbo. I think it was on an Oldsmobile. And then from there, it, it just expanded. So uh, some of the manufacturers that use them is Hyundai, Toyota, Mini, and of course, Ford uses them in a lot of their vehicles. So they've done a good job. And then in 2017, they upgraded this turbo. They made it a little bit uh, more powerful because uh, they increased the torque and the horsepower. Uh, so in 2007, they made, 17, they made it a little bit bigger and a little bit better. Let's go inside here and uh, we'll go over some of the options that this truck has on it. So as I said earlier, this is the Lariat package. Uh, this does have the, the cooled seats and heated seats in the front, both sides. Uh, both the, the driver's seat and the passenger seat is uh, power. And then you have uh, lumbar in the back here, so you can get pretty comfortable there. This one does have the trailer tow mirrors. So you have power mirrors. Let me turn this on a little bit. So you can see the mirrors go in and out there. You don't have to get out and manually do them. And then you can fold them manu or, uh, electronically. So if you're in a tight spot going through a, you know, a fence or something like that, you can, you can close them real easy. You don't have to get out to do that. And then you can adjust them here, both sides. So it makes it pretty easy to do that. Um, you have a really good uh, gauge selection in here. You can do all kinds of things with it. Um, you can find out what your uh, fuel mileage is. You can go to, uh, you can have a miles per hour gauge there where if you're doing 75, 75 will come up there. Of course you have def uh, gauge here, which is nice. A lot of trucks you don't have that. You have to go through your, your gauge cluster in order to find out how much you have. This one, it's right there all the time. Uh, you have big big buttons here for your uh, controls on your on your steering wheel so you have uh, Bluetooth for your phone so you don't, you don't have to worry about staying on your phone uh, you know in your ear you can just go on Bluetooth and, and it's through the truck so you don't have to worry about that all your cruise control um, volume for your radio you, you can control your radio from this uh, cluster right here so it's pretty nice and then you got your center console where you have a couple drink holders there. That folds up, so you've got all kinds of storage here, and in the back, we'll go in the back here a little bit. And you've got your full full gauge over here. You have nav on there as well. Um, you can change the colors inside. And up here, Jody, you have all these uh, switches. So you can hook up, if you wanted to hook up like a rigid uh, light bar, you can use one of those um, switches there for that. Whatever you want to use them for, that's what they're there for. Then there's a switch right behind it. It's got a power sliding rear window, and that rear window is also heated, so you can turn that on to melt snow. Um, this also has an exhaust brake. I didn't mention that. The, the way the exhaust brake works is it, it's got a flap on the uh, exhaust itself, so when that, that exhaust flap is almost closed, it creates back pressure, and that's what slows the vehicle down, therefore slowing whatever you're hauling down, which, saves you a lot of wear and tear on your brakes. These also have slotted um, rotors on the brakes, so it'll keep everything cooled down. But with that exhaust brake, that's what's really gonna save a lot of uh, wear and tear on that. We'll go into the back. You have uh, 
all leather seats in the back as well. You have several uh, power outlets right there on the center console. Power windows in the back. And then you have uh, storage under the seat. I'll break that down for you. All you have to do is lift this up. This is already folded up, but all you'd have to do is push this down and then uh, these would fold down, that would come down. Right now they have it up. Then here's your different sleeves for your trailers. There's another one here. So it's just a nice area that you can uh, keep stuff stored and it's not sliding around on you. Uh, let's see, what else do we have here? The warranty on these Fords um, they have a five-year 60,000 powertrain warranty, but the diesel itself has a five-year 100,000 mile warranty. So there's, there's quite a uh, bit of warranty left on this. Let me get you the exact miles on it. Actually, this has 12,099 miles. So just from people test driving, it, it's gone over the 12,000 mark, but there's plenty of warranty left on this thing. So if you'd give us a call, uh, we can tell you when it was put in service, how many miles are left on the 560 powertrain, and then how many miles in months are left on the five-year 100,000 mile. Um, we've got this thing hooked up to a four-horse Cimarron trailer right here, and that's what these things were really designed to pull. These horse trailers, uh, car trailers, we get people with race teams that buy these things, um, construction, you name it, that's what they're designed for. And uh, these things are ready to rock and roll uh, they've done a really good job for Ford. This is a beautiful truck in the black on black. Um, it's got the 628A package for the Lariat, I've, I've told you that. Um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any questions on this truck, give us a call at 303-684-3400. We'd be more than happy to uh, answer any questions that you might have on it. Um, trucks are hard to get right now, so we don't think this one's going to be around very much longer. We, we took this in on trade from an RV. We're very excited to have it, so we wanted to bring that to you. So give us a call and we'd answer any questions. Thank you.